we play Blackbird, we start off with a G, and we're plucking the E and B string. And throughout the song, when we're plucking, we start by pinching two strings and then coming back to the G string. So when I pluck the opening, I start by pinching the E and the B, then I hit the G, then when I press down here on the second string first fret, I pinch the A and the B, and go to the G. Then I have this chord with my second and fourth fingers on the second and third frets of the fifth and second string. Again, here I'm pinching the A and the B, going back to the G. And then I have this formation up here. And that's just the A, B strings on the tenth and twelfth frets. And then I'm also plucking the open G. back down, do it again. Now to the verse. Here it sounds like this. Notice there I'm pitching the A and the E string this time. Pressing down the third fret of the A string. But I'm always coming back to the G, so it's up one to four and three on the fifth and first strings pinching again the A and the E and then coming back to the G string together slide down 2nd fret 1st string when I pluck this right here I'm pinching with the D and E string and I come back to the G so it sounds like this slide up Alright, so together, let me just play that again so I remember. Here I'm plucking the A in the E string on the 6th and 5th frets. Coming back to the G, all together. And now the verse shifts, so the fingering will shift now. We start again with this. Here, notice the shift, now I have <coughs> Whoa, excuse me, sorry. Now I have the second and third frets of the E and D string. But again, I'm plucking the E and D. But coming back to the G, so it's. Just shift down one there. Back to that open on the second fret. Pinching the D and E. Back to that chord in the fourth and third fret, I'm plucking the A and E string. So all together. Now I have the fifth and third frets of the second and fifth string, the A and the B string. And again, I'm pitching the A and B and going back to the G. So it sounds like this. Go on down. Sorry. Shift. Down again on the second and third fret. Now I'm just holding on the second fret of the B string. Then going down to one. Back to the original G. Climb back up. verse again and the next part of the song we come to after our climb down here to the chorus so now I go up to 810 on the uh, A and B string and I'm pinching the A and B ending on the G now 7 8 5 6 now 5-3, 1-3, back up to 5-3. Together it's all like this. Back down, just the second fret I'm pitching the A and the B. First fret on the B string and then
that's pretty much it. He holds on. They hold on to the tenth and twelfth frets a couple times and play around with that. And he plays with these notes. So that you hear that at one point, just goes up. That's in the five three. So together, something like this. As I start with that G formation, pluck the E and the B up here on the first fret of the second string. So it's. And that's the original climb from the beginning. Here I just go to 5 3 on the A and B string and then back down. On 2 3 on the A and B string. Just second on the B string when plucking the A and the B just the set first fret of the second string, plucking A and B, and again together, 